What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bombshell, back with another video. I hope you're feeling beautiful, looking beautiful, feeling handsome, looking handsome. Me, myself, I'm feeling lovely. Thank you very much. Y'all, what we got is John or Lucas. I'm not racist. Okay, that's what we're getting into. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And let's get into this video. With all due respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. Screaming black lives matter. All the black guys rather be dead beats than pay your bills. Yelling nigga this and nigga that. Call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react. Wanna swing at me and call me racist cause I ain't black. You pound that then. Talking about slavery like you was around back then. Like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then. Like you was on the plantation getting down back then. Alright. I see a black man aiming his gun. But I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. Right. And I don't mean just for one day and you done. I mean, you still trapped in a rut. And I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance, food stands for your children, but you still trying to sell them for some weed and some liquor or a fucking babysitter while you party on the road because you ain't got no fucking goals? You already late. You motherfuckers need to get your damn priorities straight. Wait. It's like you're proud to be fake, but you lazy as fuck. And you'd rather sell drugs than get a job and be straight. And then you turn around and complain about the poverty rate. Fuck out of my face. Can't escape problems. You can pray for some change, but can't break a dollar. Mm -hmm. Got nobody else to blame, so you blame Donald. He fucked the world with a make America great condo. My boy's been back. I'm not racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister-in-law's baby cousin Tracy got a brother and his girlfriend's black. My head's in the cloud. Heard it's not enough jobs for all the men in your house. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. And I never lied, but I think there's a disconnect between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins, study the Steve Jobs, but you ride Tupac's dick like he was a fucking god. Oh my god. And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet. And that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you. Mm -hmm. you let your kids listen and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu. Blame it on no drinks. Blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame mm -hmm. it on white privileges. Blame it on white kids and just blame it on white citizens. Aim it the vice president. <laughs> Watch your class clowns. Niggas kneeling on the field. That's a flag down. How dare mm -hmm. you try to make demands for this money? You gon' show us some respect. You gon' stand for this country, nigga. I'm not racist. I'm just prepared for this type of war. I heard Eminem's rap at the awards. Who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too. He ain't white no more. It's like you want to be so famous. You'll do anything for attention and a little payment. I can't take you nowhere without people pointing fingers. Pants hanging off your ass. You ain't got no home training. Put your fucking pants up, nigga. Put that suit back on. Take that do-rag off. Take that gun out your mouth. Quit the pitiful stuff. And then maybe police will stop killing you fuck. So what the fuck? I'm not racist. It's like we're living in the same building but split into two floors. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story. I wish that I knew yours. Interesting. I wish that I knew yours. I'm not racist. I swear. With all disrespect, I don't really like you white motherfuckers, that's just where I'm at. Screaming all lives matter is a protest to my protest, what kind of shit is that? That's true. And that's one war you'll never win. The power in the word nigga is a different sin. We shouldn't say it, but we do, and that's just what it is. But that don't mean that you can say it just because you got nigga friends. Nigga. That word was originated for you to keep us under. And when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other. And when you use it, we know there's a double meaning under. And even if I wasn't picking cotton physically, that don't mean I'm not affected by the history. Mm -hmm. My grandmama was a slave. That shit gets to me. And you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga. I'm sorry you can never fail my life. I'm trying to have faith, but I never fell all right. It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites. Judging me by my skin color and my blackness. Trying to find a job, but ain't nobody call me back yet. Now I got to sell drugs and put food in my cabinet. You crackers ain't slick. This is all a part of your tactics. Don't talk about no motherfucking taxes. When I ain't making no dough, you think you know everything, but you don't. You want to copy our slang and everything that we know. Try to steal black culture and make it your own. Whoa. Fuck, I'm exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. I'm tired of this systematic racism bullshit. Mm. All you do is fall shit. This the shit that I'm false with. And you don't know shit about my people. That's what bothers you. You don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue. You don't know about the two-step or no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool-Aid. You don't know. 
And even though Barack was half as black, you hated President Obama, I know that's a fact. You can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back, and then you gave us Donald Trump, and that was payback for that. I'm not racist. I never lied, but I noticed a disconnect between your culture and mine. Yeah, I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god. He was fighting for his life way before he fucking died, nigga. Die, nigga. And all you care about is money and power and being ugly. And that's the cracker within you. Hatred all in your brain. And slowly start to convince you. Then you teach it to your children until the cycle continue. Blaming on Puerto Rico. Blaming on OJ. Blaming on everybody except for your own race. Blaming on black niggas and blaming on black citizens. Aim at the black businesses. I ain't saying I'm innocent, but... I might be any day now, treating everybody how you want, in any way how. I swear North Korea about to bomb us any day now. And now I'm ducking every time I hear a fucking play now. Shit. You know I make a lot of sense, but you just can't admit it. When Eminem went against Trump, that was the illness. Cause even though he's white, he let us know he standing with us. I'm not racist, but I cry a lot. You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot. You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops. And I know if you about to die or not. You worry about your life, so you take mine. I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time. I wish we could trade shoes, or we could change lives, so we can understand each other more, but that'll take time. I'm not racist. It's like we living in the same building, but splitting to both sides. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story, and now you know mine. Can't erase the scars with a bandage. I'm hoping maybe we can come to an understanding. Agree to disagree, we can have an understanding. I'm not racist. Wow, that was beautiful, Joyner. That was beautiful, y'all. I loved that. I loved how they both listened to each other, felt what each other was saying, and respected what each other was saying. It still was love because we all are human. And you just have to feel where people are coming from. Now, make it seem like it don't exist because you're not going through it. Because if you were to switch shoes with someone, you'd be like, damn, this shit is real. This shit is real. Nobody's making up anything and what they're experiencing or anything like that. Just you can't relate because it's not, you know, something that you are actually feeling and going through. But you have to be, you know, open and understanding to others. And I loved how, I love the actors that did their parts, you know, for Joyner. Joyner would even end the video. It was really good. It was peaceful at the end. Some common ground of, okay, let me try to understand you. That's your story. Okay, you write about this. Okay, you got a point there. Because they both had points. You want to change the your community as black men. You have to change yourself. Everyone has to change themselves. You can't just add to the problem and complain about the problem. Okay? That's what the first guy was, you know, saying. But, yeah, y'all, it was beautiful. Like, comment, and subscribe. I enjoyed it. It was, it was good for the culture. See you guys next video. Bye, Pompies.